preschoolers, it's Miss Marissa here. This is week number three of our online dance classes. Um, we're gonna kind of keep this week just like what we have been doing. We're gonna start out with a book, then our warm up, and then we'll do some tap steps. We'll practice your dance, change your shoes, and then we'll get right into ballet and end with a fun dance. Miss Sarah. And I'm Miss Marissa. And today we are going to read a book that Sky is Shy. We're also going to do your warm up and then on to bar work, but Miss Marissa is going to read the book for you. Sky is shy. Sky is an adorable little mermaid, but she has a huge problem. She is very, very shy. Her mom pushes her to swim and enjoy the warm ocean current, but Sky doesn't talk to the other mermaids. One morning, Colin comes across Sky and asks, "Want to play dodge the dolphin?" The Little Mermaid turns all red and shakes her head to say no before hiding behind the rocks. The next day, Marina asks her, want to play skip the seaweed? Sky, as red as a starfish, wants to play, but she can't. No thank you, she answers before hiding behind a big shell. The next day, Jetty asks her, want to play catch the squid with me? Sky lowers her head and stammers, no thank you, before diving in a tall seaweed. Every day, Sky picks sea anemones for her mom. Every day, she is all by herself at the bottom of the sea. Today, she is sitting in the wreckage of an old boat and sees the other mermaids playing. They are laughing and having fun. Why is she so afraid to join them? She would love to play with them, but Sky is just too shy. Finn slowly approaches the lonely mermaid and asks her, Why are you so sad, Skye? The little mermaid tells the tiny fish the truth. Finn thinks of a way to help his friend. He goes round and round in circles and makes a few bubbles. Don't move, I'll come right back, he shouts as he swims away. The little mermaid wonders what Finn is cooking up. It's a surprise to see Finn come back with Marina, Colin, and Jenny. Sky shyly looks away. Come on, Sky, come play with us, urges Colin. We thought you didn't like our games, adds Jetty. We didn't know you were so shy, apologizes Marina. Marina takes Sky by the hand and pulls her into a big game of hide and seek. The shy little mermaid is delighted to play with her new friends. Jetty, I saw you, she shouts, laughing out loud. Ever since that day, Skye is less shy and is finally having fun with all her friends. From time to time, she still turns as red, men, as red as coral, but that makes everyone laugh, even her. Well done, Skye. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and do our warm-up now. We're going to start with our tap warm-up that is the Ants Go Marching. My class, we do this one a lot. It's one of our favorites. So get ready and watch me, okay? We're going to start out bouncing.
shuffle hop so we're gonna do our normal two sound shuffle and make sure that our feet hit the ground and that it's only the front part of our tap so we're gonna do shuffle and then we're gonna stay on this leg and we're gonna hop shuffle hop let's turn around and try the left foot left foot comes up and back like this shuffle hop shuffle hop let's try it with music right foot ready Right foot ready for shuffle hop. Ready to ready. shuffle. And shuffle hop. hop. Again. And shuffle hop. And shuffle hop. And shuffle hop. Turn around. Turn. Left foot Left ready foot up for like this. shuffle hop. ready to go and we're going to take our heels and we're going to rock them this way to the right and this way to the left but we're going to use our arms to help us rock right rock left rock right rock left pause it if you need to but let's try it with the music thumbs up ready for rocking heels here we go five six that way. seven eight rock right Rock left, rock right, rock left, rock right, rock left, rock right, rock left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. All right, moving right along, we're going to do our rocky 
between toes. Now remember, we tell our toes where to go for this. So we're going to have our pointer fingers out. And we're going to rock them to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. So you got to pick up those toes super high and jump them down. Let's try it. Pointer fingers ready. Going that way, you tell them where to go. Here we go. Too. We're going to get warmed up with a little bit of movement and a little bit of stretching. So just follow along. Um, and then right after that, we'll go into doing our across the floors. All right, we're going to start jumping out and in. So hands on your hips. Ready? Here we go. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Now bring your arms up. And step out and over. And then down into the middle. Back over to the side. Back up. And hands back on your hips. We're going to jump out and in again. Ready? Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Arms up. And now all of you go down. We're gonna sit in a butterfly. Lean, oh, I'm gonna squeeze back. Lean, lean. Arms up super tall. And try to get your nose to your toes. And now shake your legs out. Shake, 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 shake. Toes up. And down. Up. Down. Now roll them in a circle. And now bring in one leg and give it a hug. And back down. Other leg. Hug. And back down. Now bring your legs back in the butterfly and shake them. And done. Welcome to our ballet bar portion. We are going to start in first position. Our heels go together, our toes go apart, and we're going to do four plies. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Our arm, we're going to do a port de bras, a carriage of the arm. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Then we're going to do our plies again. One, two, three, four. And our arm, one, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four. And we're going to quickly, on our tippy toes, go over, and we're going to repeat it on the left. Let's begin. Hopefully the whole family can get on this. We can all do ballet together. Here we go. Ready, and one, two, three, and four. Four, one, 
ready to do our ballet tendu combination. We are going to start in parallel. We're going to do four to the front and four to the side. Our tendus, they slide out and point and slide back. One, two, three, four to the side. One, two, three, four. We're going to repeat that a second time on the right. And we're going to go up on our toes, walk over quickly. Go back into parallel and we do our left. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And repeat that one more time and then we'll go to the front and we'll finish. Let's start. Feet in parallel. Get your brothers and your sisters and your parents and let's do some ballet. Here we go. Ready? One. nice and round like we're holding a beach ball and we go one two three one two three make sure we're also spotting which we find that spot on the side of the room on the opposite side so we're gonna go one two three one two three these take lots and lots of practice so I will go down the room one way and come back the other you do the same at home you don't have to do it right along with me. You may stop it and you may do it and then come back. So here I go. I'm gonna go down, put my arms nice up on my toes, find my spot. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now I'm gonna go back. Same thing, arms nice like a beach ball. There is a second way to do our arms too. We can do our angel wings. So if you would prefer to do angel wings, that's okay too. I'll do angel wings back. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now you do it across your floor at home. Maybe your brothers and sisters or your parents want to join in. All right, guys, we're going to do our puddle jumpers. So we're going to pretend that each one of these is a puddle. If you obviously don't have dots at home, you can use a Kleenex box, stuffed animals, whatever you have. So we're going to pretend like each one of these is a puzzle, a puddle and we're going to jump over it. Jump, jump. And you should alternate between putting your right leg out in front and your left leg out in front. We'll do it on these ones too, ready? Jump, jump, jump. Good job. All right, our last thing that we're gonna do across the floor is gallops. So for these, these are step together, step. So if we start with our hands on our hips, we're gonna go to the right first. We're gonna go step, together, step. So you're gonna bring your feet together and then separate them again. So it's gonna go right, left, right, left, right. And then you're gonna go the other way with your left foot. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. But when we do it with the music, we're gonna have our arms out like this, okay? All right, let's give it a try. Yeah. Get your arms ready. Right foot left. On this way. Ready. And right. Walking, walking, walking. Left. Walking, walking, walking. Right. Walking, walking, walking. Left. Walking, walking, walking. Right. Walking, walking, walking. Good job, you guys. Guys, for our fun dance this 
week we're going to be dancing to the beanbag buggy. So if you have a beanbag on hand, great. If not, grab a stuffed animal or whatever you want to use and we're going to practice balancing a beanbag on different parts of our body. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. 